away in a manger. An animal trough. They probably put fresh hay and some blankets, but it was still kind of a smelly, slobbery animal place. This used to make me uncomfortable when I sang that song until some very good friends of ours came to visit with their newborn. And they were so excited about sharing this baby with us that they didn't care if we didn't have a crib. They didn't care if there was no place to put the baby. We just took out a bureau drawer, emptied it, and filled it with blankets. Because the important thing to them was to share their baby. And I think that God might have felt the same way. What was important was Jesus coming to visit us, to share a new life with us, and even if it started in a manger, away in a manger. The Christmas carol, Joy to the World, has an amazing first line. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. What does this title, king, mean when it's applied to Jesus? Well, one time I was picking up my daughter from school and I asked her who is in charge. And she pointed to the principal and she said, Him! He's the king of all the bus drivers. And I thought about that and I realized that here was the person who directed the buses where they should go and the children how to get to the right bus so they could go home. And in a very real sense, Jesus comes today as our King, wanting to direct us on how we can grow in our own lives and come closer to God and to love each other. And He's also trying to help all of us get on the bus to go home. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King.